This video is the last video in this series looking at how we create a mesh network using Google Wi-Fi. In the previous video we set up a wireless access point using a single Google Wi-Fi node. This node is referred to as the primary node because it's connected to a VDSL modem to establish a link to the internet. In this video we're going to take a look at how you add additional nodes to create our mesh network. As you can see, we've placed the two nodes in close proximity to each other. This is only while they are being configured, and it will help avoid any potential issues. Once we've built our mesh network, we can then position them around our home. With the second node now powered up, we can switch to the Google Wi-Fi app. When the app loads, we're shown the status and current layout of our Google Wi-Fi network. As we want to add an additional node to the network, we need to select the Shortcuts and Settings tab. From within Shortcuts and Settings, we need to select Network and General. From within Network and General, we need to select Wi-Fi Point, Details, Brightness, Restart. We now need to find the section called Network Device Settings, under which you will see the primary Wi-Fi node that we've already set up. As we are adding an additional Wi-Fi node to the network, we need to select Add Wi-Fi Point. We are next instructed to position the new Wi-Fi point in the place that we want it to be. However, as we mentioned earlier, we recommend that you keep the two nodes close together while they are being paired. This will help to avoid any additional troubleshooting after the second node has been added to your mesh. When we select Next, we're instructed to plug in the Wi-Fi node. As we've already done this, we can move on to the next section. We must now choose a name to help identify the new Wi-Fi node that we are installing. We will call this one Office. Once we've chosen our name, we need to select Next. The app will now look for the node that we're trying to connect to. We now need to establish a secure connection to the node using either the QR code or setup code, both of which are printed on the underside of the node. For this demonstration, we will be using the setup code but if you are setting up your Google Wi-Fi mesh with a mobile phone, using the QR code is easier. As you can see, it's a simple case of entering the nine character setup code into the field provided. After entering the code, select confirm. The Google Wi-Fi app will attempt to connect to the node so that it can be configured. Once the app has connected to our second Wi-Fi node, it will link the node to our existing wireless access point, which in turn will create our mesh network. After the app has finalized the connection between the two Wi-Fi nodes, it will test the Wi-Fi point. Let us select Test Now. After completing the Wi-Fi test, we are given a summary of our mesh network. We are shown the name and password of the wireless access point we've created, along with the two nodes that we have set up so far. As you can see, the Office node has been classed as a mesh Wi-Fi point. Let's select Next. The app will now install the latest software updates onto the new node that we've just added to our mesh network. It should be noted that updating the Wi-Fi node can take a considerable amount of time. In fact, for the filming of this video, updating the Wi-Fi node took roughly 10 minutes to complete. With our new Wi-Fi node now configured and part of our mesh network, we next need to consider where we will be positioning our node to extend or improve the Wi-Fi coverage in our home. In the UK, buildings are relatively small, with the average size of a build being around 86 square metres. 
This means that for many in the UK there is probably no need to have a mesh wireless network as a basic wireless router positioned in the centre of the house should cover the whole house with Wi-Fi. However, we often can't choose where our wireless router is positioned and certain building materials can interfere with wireless signals. So even a small house can have Wi-Fi dead zones or can be susceptible to weak signal strength. So if you are installing a mesh network, you need to make sure that the primary Wi-Fi node is positioned off the ground ideally at eye level, away from any clutter or objects that could obscure the wireless signal. Any additional nodes that we add to our mesh network should be placed no more than two rooms away from any other nodes. Again, the node should be positioned in an elevated place like a shelf, clear from clutter or objects that could impede the wireless signal. Now that we've positioned the new Wi-Fi node, we need to test to make sure that the mesh network is functioning at optimal levels. From within the Google app, if we now return to shortcut and settings, then select network check. We are shown a list of the diagnostic tools to test Google Wi-Fi with. We'll be looking at these tools in more depth in another video. But as we need to test that we have correctly positioned our newly set up Wi-Fi mesh node, we're going to select the option Test Mesh. With the results of the test displayed, we can decide if we need to reposition the Wi-Fi node. In this example, the node was well positioned, so we now have a functioning Google Wi-Fi mesh network. However, if the test identified a problem, you would simply move the Wi-Fi node and test again. So to recap, we've looked at how you add a Wi-Fi node to Google Wi-Fi to create a mesh network. We've discussed positioning the primary and secondary nodes around a house, and we have tested that our new mesh network is functioning correctly.